Everything we need to know about the Corvette Stingray SUV. Now, Corvette will be the latest in a long line of spinoff brands. Now, if this, this sounds like a Corvette SUV turns your stomach, <laughs> let us point you to a few other brands that made the leap from a sports car to a people hauler. Are an SUV, first to disdain of its customers before becoming the most popular model, there was the German brand called Porsche, who ended up building a mid-sized, yes, SUV called the Cayenne. Now Lamborghini did the same thing with the Euros. Now the top selling of the two biggest markets. Now GM has been talking about for years, but in recent interview, former GM Vice President Bob Lutz had to say, what I would do is develop a dedicated architecture, super lightweight, super powerful, Porsche Cayenne-like, only much better and a little bigger, medium volume Corvette SUV, target worldwide, 20 to 30,000 units, and a price starting at what? A hundred thousand dollars? That's even more than the Corvette. Now, gorgeous interior. Now, by any chance, it will not be a V6 powertrain and no low-end version. It has to be a stellar premium sport utility made in the United States. And the Corvette, Corvette brand pulls that off quite well. Wow. Now, spinning off a model into its brand isn't something new. Now, Toyota basically did it with the uh, Prius. Dodge did it with the uh, Ram. And Hyundai did it with the Genesis. Now, GM denies plans for a Corvette sedan or SUV. It would be profitable. Now, Stanley analyst um, Adam Jones has said that the Corvette sub-brand could be worth $7 billion to $12 billion to the automaker. Now, we could have pictured that Corvette, you know, coming from something like this, but not with so much of this. So, but we have an idea of what it would look like. Now, what we see here is definitely something that looked Lamborghini-ish. It's definitely nice, but $100,000? Wow. Tell me what you think in the comments that a Corvette uh, <laughs> creating a, an electric powertrain for an SUV, which is a thought. And man, the power that it would have, I mean, epic. And I'm sure General Motors is going to use a lot of the technology from the Hummer if they do come out with this from the electric Hummer. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Hi, this is Bruce from AO Automotive Reviews, encouraging you to subscribe, to like, and to continue watching these videos. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to putting out a lot more great content. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Much love. Peace out.